everybody, it's Karen Bentley here with the Sugar-Free Advantage channel, your resource for healthy weight loss and healthy living on a sugar-free, low-carb or keto eating strategy. All three of these eating strategy involve the awareness and management of sugar to one degree or another. Sugar is the most toxic, dastardly substance in the diet. And if you want to take off weight and be more healthy, it's the substance you have to get a handle on. And today we're going to be reviewing yogurts. I've got 11 of them. And yogurts are supposed to be healthy for you, but they're very tricky food when you're on a sugar-free eating strategy or a low sugar eating strategy, because most of them are packed with added sugars and you don't want that. The most added sugars you want in any one serving is four grams. Four grams of added sugar is one teaspoon. That's all your body can handle at any one time without kicking in a hormonal response or a chemical response or the production of triglycerides and insulin. So four grams, that's what we're going to be looking for, for the added sugars for any one serving. I'm going to be looking at these yogurts in no particular order. I'm going to look at the calories, I'm going to look at the added sugars, and I'm going to look and see what the sweetening agent is, if any. And if that agent is agreeable to me or not. You know, some people don't want to have um, aspartame, for example. So is, do any of these products have aspartame? We'll find out. Let's look at the first one. Here we have silk made with almond milk, vanilla, vanilla yogurt alternative, apple cinnamon, dried apple, cinnamon granola. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's go to the back. Oh, it's just the tiniest, tiniest lettering, but let's check it out. It's got 250 calories. Wow, that's a lot of whopping calories. That's, a, that's more like a meal than a snack. And it's got 15 grams of added sugar. Ah, way too much sugar, way too much. And just for the heck of it, it's sweetened with cane sugar, which is table sugar. So no, no almond milk vanilla yogurt alternative. Too much sugar. Let's look at Yoplait. Yoplait Greek 100 whips. Let's see what this one is. It's got 100 calories. Okay. We're going to go to the total added sugars. 10 grams of added sugars. Eh, we can only handle four. That's way too many. What's it got in it? Oh, geez, Louise. It's got uh, fructose, cornstarch, uh, sucralose, AC, it's got a whole bunch of stuff, but they managed to stuff 10 grams of added sugars in it to it. So whatever they used, it's too much for us. We're getting rid of that one. Let's go to too good, two grams. That looks pretty good. Two grams of sugar. We, if, the, if that's true, this might be a possibility. This is strawberry Greek yogurt. We're going to the back. 80 calories. Okay. Total sugars, two total added sugars, none. What does it use for a sweetening agent? Uh, tapioca starch, natural flavors. Okay, so ta tapioca starch, natural flavors probably means that it's got some neotame in it at, a, at such a small concentration that they don't have to list it. Um, anyways, that's a possibility. I'll put that in the save stack. Let's look at Fahe. Total 0%, but we don't know what that zero refers to, do we? And it's blueberry. And, and this is another one with tiny, tiny little lettering. We're going to go and look at it. 100 calories. Okay. And then we're going straight to the added sugars. 7 grams of added sugars. And we only want 4. That's too many. And what is this sweetened with? Cane sugar. We'll put that one aside. How about this one? Ratio keto. Keto friendly, so I'm going to assume this is probably going to be a decent choice for us. Let's check it out. It's got 200 calories. That's pretty calorie dense, pretty calorie rich for a yogurt. But we're going to go to the added sugars. It's got zero. Okay, that's a possibility. And what's it sweetened with, if anything? What has it got? Natural flavor. It's another one with natural flavor. Probably has a little neotame in it, and it has sucralose, 
which is an artificial um, sweetener, in my opinion, the least objectionable one. So that's a possibility. Let's try Chobani. Chobani Greek yogurt mango. This looks pretty good. Uh, authentically crafted, no fake fruit, no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, no pre preservatives, no gluten. All right, what has it got though? Let's check it out. 130 calories, all right. And then we go to the added sugars and it's got nine grams. Eh, we only want four, way too many sugars. What's it sweetened with? Cane sugar, put that aside. How about this one? Light and fit Greek yogurt packed with 12 grams of protein, strawberry, what has this one got? 80 calories, okay. Added sugars, two grams of added sugar. So this is a possibility. What is it uh, sweetened with? Uh, modified food starch, asulfame potassium, sucralose. So sucralose again is that artificial sweetener, but we'll put that in the possibility stack. How about this one? Oikos, pumpkin spice Greek yogurt, the perfect yogurt for the fall. I love here in New England where it's fall. Let's see what's in this one. We go straight to the nutrition label, 160 calories starting to creep up there. Total added sugars, 14 grams of added sugars. Ah, 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 ah. Too, too much. What is it sweetened with? Ah, cane sugar and fructose. We don't want it. How about this one? Here's another uh, yogurt alternative, coconut milk. Coconut is the darling right now in many uh, diet programs, all things coconut. Let's see if this is an, any better. So delicious, dairy-free raspberry coconut milk. What's on it? 140 calories, okay. Added sugars, 17 grams. Eh, 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 eh. Way too many, way, way, way too many. And what's it sweetened with? Sugar, cane sugar, we don't want it, it's too much. How about this one? Another Oikos product, triple zero. This one looks hopeful because it says zero grams of added sugar right on the cover. Let's see if they're telling the truth. We'll go to the nutrition facts. It's got 90 calories. We're going straight to the added sugars. It's got zero added sugar, five grams of regular sugar that just comes from whatever is naturally in the product and it's sweetened with chicory root fiber, which is also known as maltodextrin. So if you object to that, you wouldn't like this product. Stevia leaf extract, natural flavors again, probably some neotame. And uh, so we've got one more to check out on our list of 11 products. This is We by Yoplait, peach, French, French style yogurt. Oh, it's in glass, I gotta love it. It's it's beautiful. You see this beautiful fruit at the bottom. It looks beautiful. It looks very pretty. All right, let's go to where the rubber meets the road, shall we? 160 calories. Calories are starting to creep up there. Added sugars, 10 grams. Ah, we only want four. That's way too many. What's in it? Cane sugar. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven no's. We're not going to even think about them. We're just going to put them aside because they have too much sugar. See how easy it was to eliminate them? You don't have to think twice about it. Just don't put them in your grocery cart. We're going to try the four that um, have less than two, four grams of sugar, and none of them even actually had that. Let's try the Oikos triple zero first. And it's got uh, zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, but it is made with the chicory root fiber, which is that maltodextrin, stevia leaf, and uh, let's see what it tastes like. This is just a plain yogurt. It's edible, it's not my favorite flavor personally. You know, some people might like it, it's very tart, but if you like a tart fla flavor, you might like it. Um, I probably wouldn't buy that one again, but it's edible. Let's try the too good. Too good says two grams of sugar and zero grams of added sugar. And this is strawberry flavored Greek yogurt. This is what it looks like. It's a very light pink. Mm, I like that very much. 
It's not too sweet. I, I actually don't like, um, I used to love sweet stuff, but since I haven't been eating sugar for years, I actually uh, prefer a less sweet flavor. And this has a less sweet taste. And um, I like it. So I'll put that one there. How about the Keto? Ratio Keto Vanilla. This is the most uh, calorie dense one. It's got 200 calories. And this is the one that is uh, sweetened with sucralose, which is an artificial sweetener. Let's try that. It just looks like a plain vanilla yogurt, plain, plain yogurt. Mm, this would be my least favorite. I really didn't like that at all, but it's edible. It's just not uh, my flavor that I like. And then the last one is the Light and Fit, packed with 12 grams of protein and other Greek style yogurt. And this one has a two grams of added sugar. And this one is uh, sweetened with strawberry puree, uh, fructose, ace potassium, This is the, the sweetest one. If you like a very sweet flavor, this, you would love this one. It's a little sweet for me, but I mean, it's fine. So my favorite would be the Too Good Two Grams. I thought that was really yummy. It's not a very sweet flavor though. If you're looking for more sweetness, you might try another one. The next one would be the Oikos Triple Zero. I like that. Um, the Light and Fit, I was a little bit too sweet for my taste. But, you know, if you like that, you might enjoy it. And my least favorite was the Ratio Keto. So there you have it. How to go about picking a very healthy, uh, weight-friendly yogurt. You have a sea of yogurts to choose from. Choose smartly. Choose carefully. Come back again. Smash that like button. And please consider subscribing. We would love to have you in our family. Bye for now.